Welcome to Columbus, Ohio for the first annual Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic, where some of the great bodybuilders of the world have gathered. Hello everybody, I'm Ahmad Rashad along with my partner, five times Mr. Universe, seven times Mr. Olympia, Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. And Arnold, finally, these bodybuilders are getting some credit. People realize that they are great athletes. They are great athletes, you're absolutely correct. They train uh, very hard, they lift 40, 50 tons of weights every day, they train four or five hours every day. Uh, those guys do cardiovascular training, they're on severe diets and so on, the tremendous amount of discipline goes in there. So you're absolutely correct, they're great, great athletes. Now to the average viewer out there, they think that everybody up there has the perfect body, but what do the judges look for? Well, we have seven international judges here that are really experienced judges, and they're looking basically for muscle size, muscle definition, separation of the muscles, and also vascularity, and also the posing routine, which is very important because you can have the best developed body, the most defined body, but if your posing routine isn't on and isn't perfect, you can lose the competition. What about the favorites? You've seen this, uh, this field. What about the favorites? Well, I tell you that uh, I watched this afternoon the competition, and uh, during the pre-judging, I have to say that Rich Gaspari was, in my mind, the favorite. He had the most fire in him. He had the most will to win. He had a great posing routine. He was very good competing against the other guys, doing the right poses and so on, and he had tremendous muscularity. I think he's really in perfect shape today, and I think that he has a good shot of winning. Backstage, some of the competitors are making their final preparations by oiling down while some of the other competitors, like Gary Striden, pumps up for his upcoming performance. Okay, when we come back, we will watch the man considered the front runner in today's competition, Rich Gaspari. Traditionally, bodybuilders prefer to train on the West Coast, the land of sunshine and fresh air. But Rich Gaspari is breaking down that perception, training year-round in his small New Jersey hometown. Now, recently we traveled there to see just how different Rich's life is from his California counterparts. I don't have my bag. Family dinners at the Gaspari household have not changed much since Rich's parents came to this country in 1962. But Mama's cooking is just one temptation Rich Gaspari must avoid to become a champion. Twelve hours earlier, Rich made a breakfast every bit as well, just as he has for the past six years. The concoction features ten egg whites, one yolk, oat bran, bananas, and blueberries in one large pile, just your typical breakfast of champions. I really don't eat for taste. <laughs> Basically just eat because of the nutrients and what I know what's going into my body. So right now it's just fulfilling me. <laughs> but for Rich, food is just one price to pay for building a championship body, a price he started paying as a youngster 15 years ago. Today, Rich trains year-round, a discipline shared by anyone who lives in his house, even his pet cockatoo, Tasha. <laughs> See if she could do some uh, some chin-ups. Come on, up, one, two. <laughs> all the other objects around me, all the other people around me, uh, are totally blocked out. Feelings are totally blocked out. I'm just totally in focus of the contest. It's the mental preparation that is most demanding on those who love and support Rich, like his brother Mike. When he gets in his moods or whatever, I just like stay away from him because I know what, what his purpose is for. It's not just for anything, not because he had a bad day or anything. I know it's, it's for what he's doing, so I, you know, his family really understands and still backs him up. But despite all the dedication, concentration, and sweat, there's one element in bodybuilding Rich Gaspar cannot control. His height of five foot nine puts him at a disadvantage in a sport where traditionally taller men have dominated. The thing I have to be is perfect in all, all around physique. I have to have a, a perfect physique, even 10% better than a taller physique to be better than that physique. I have to have a better presentation, a better positive outlook. This first generation Italian from just outside Newark, New Jersey has grabbed hold of the American dream and firmly believes he's about to make history. The thing is, I'm going to win the first Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic. There only can be one first-time winner, That's right. and I know it's going to be me. 
Well, Arnold, you mentioned earlier that Rich seemed more determined to win than any of the other competitors, and his confidence level was high when we talked to him at his home, and as you can see here now, it's pretty high still. It is very confident. He's a, he's, he's a very confident fellow today, and I think the reason for it is, is because he came so many times second and third because he was always a little bit off. He was sometimes too heavy, other times he came in a little bit too slim and uh, not big enough, but it seems that he knows that he is perfect today. He has the perfect balance. He's right on the money today. Interestingly enough, Rich was sick for two and a half weeks before the competition. He lost nine pounds, but he said that the illness actually helped him because as he put the weight back on, his skin stretched. That's a new one on me. <laughs> well, actually, I asked him before the day's performance that if he wins, would he go to the hospital before every competition <laughs> and just ask people to sneeze on him? <laughs> and he laughed and he said, no, 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 because, you know, the illness could have caused him to stop, you know, training and uh, to compete today. See the confidence? How he hits the poses, perfect timing with the posing, the way he moves around. He shows a good balance of power and also grace, which is very important. You see the way he makes a graceful move, and then again a very powerful move. He has had a lot of success in bodybuilding. He was Mr. Universe in 1984, the Pro World Championships in 1986, he won the 1988 European Grand Prix Championship, and he's finished second the last three years in Mr. Olympia. But as you say, Arnold, I think that he wants this one as bad as any of the other ones. Oh, he really wants it, you can tell. And the, the, and the, the people love him, look at that. These six men will now come on stage for the pose down. This is where their confidence will truly be tested. Arnold, you've been here. What is going through their minds? Amat, there's the most tension right now of the whole days of competition. The pose down is the last opportunity that each competitor has to impress the judges. So they know that the last impression for the judges is the most important one. So they will try to match the individual strengths to their opponent's weaknesses. That's what they're trying to do here, and, uh, and, and they're really trying hard. As you can see, they're moving around. And the thing is here, they are chasing Gaspari. They know that Gaspari, look at the shoving contest that's going on. Gerbil Fox wants to push him out of the way. <laughs> Gaspar is just staying his, standing his ground here. They are chasing him because they know he's ahead right now. Samir is trying very hard. Now Robbie Robinson is moving to the right. He's trying to pose off next to Gerbil Fox. Bob Paris is very smart and also Gaspar here. They stay in the middle. They don't move much around. Look how huge Gary Strider is on the right side. He's just he's enormous. Here, Robbie Robinson is showing his muscularity. He's doing three, four poses while Gaspari is doing one. But Gaspari shows uh, that he is confident. He doesn't have to pose fast. He poses slow. Now he's moving over to the other side. Gaspari he wants to compare himself now, or if the judges compare him with Samir Banut. He wants to show one more time that he's the champion to beat and that he has all the qualities that it takes to win this competition. Was this your favorite part of the competition, Arnold? Absolutely, because uh, you always could count on that round that if you are really in top shape and if you have your posing down, that is the round where you really can uh, get all the points together and just sum it all up and win the competition. Because Bobby is hitting one more shot here. Don't go away. We'll be back with the judge's decision at the inaugural. Arnold Schwarzenegger, classic. Gentlemen, you can leave the stage for a moment. Thank you very much. We have come to the moment of decision. Who will win the first Arnold Schwarzenegger classic? Endless hours of training have come down to this moment. Let's go to Jan Hutchins for the announcement. Please take the third place award worth $15,000 to Gary Strider. In my opinion, the right decision, but not a popular one for his fans. Well, it comes down to these two athletes, Arnold. 
And there's the most tension right now. Their hearts must be pounding. To Robbie Robinson. Oh, Robbie Robinson is second, and that makes Rich Gaspari the winner of the first Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic. Now, Rich Gaspari must be so happy right now that all his hard training, his dieting, all his sacrifices that he has taken has finally paid Mr. off and he has Trophy. won the competition. And the check for $55,000. Mr. Joe Weider presents it to your first winner of the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic, Richie Gaspari. He said he would be the first to win the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic, and he lived up to his word. Let's take another look at that winning form of Rich Gaspari. Now here you can see how smoothly he poses, how well he moves from one pose to the other, how he flexes the entire body at all times. He has now made his way backstage, and he's with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Rich Gaspari, I mean, I see you training every day in the gymnasium, so... I know you train four or five hours a day, but what did you do this year differently that made you really go that extra uh, stretch and, and win the competition and beat all the guys that have beaten you in the past? Well, I maintained my diet so that I can have a lean body mass uh, throughout the year, so I didn't really gain that much fat. So when you diet down, I didn't have that loose skin that a lot of bodybuilders get when they get heavy and then they get cut up. I learned to train my body you know, more intensely, but not to overtrain it. And then I also worked with a dancer and choreographer to get a really good posing routine together. And I think it really worked well. <laughs> so tell me now, what is next? I mean, obviously, this is the first big competition of this year. Oh. And now this is, you have a certain momentum going for yourself. Oh. Tell yeah. me, what's the future plan? Well, I feel very proud and privileged to win the first Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic. But uh, I'm on my way to uh, September and going into the Mr. Olympia. And hopefully, you know, as long as I try to do my best, I, I feel this year could be my year.